It has been a polarizing topic here in our state. What kind of access should minors have to gender affirming care? Today, Nebraskans had the chance to weigh in at that hearing here in Lincoln, designed to help the Department of Health and Human Services determine what the regulations surrounding that care will look like. 1011's John Grinvald spent several hours at that marathon hearing today, and he brings us this story. The issue that set the legislative session on fire didn't burn so brightly today. Chairs set for 250, barely sat 30 people at a time, but the pleas were no less passionate. I would just ask um, that these regulations be rethought. Banning gender altering surgeries for minors, LB 574 gave the reins of gender affirming care rules to the DHHS. And in October, that entity put temporary emergency regulations in place that, among other things, required several hours of therapy before being allowed to get care, something many testifiers say is a big hurdle to jump. They're being told that this type of care can only be provided once a person has gone through 40 hours, which can be as around $10,000 of care. Today, the DHHS held a public hearing as they look to finalize those regulations. I'm told a few people did show up to testify against the regulations because they say it doesn't go far enough. They want to see a total ban on gender affirming care for minors in the state, but they weren't here when we were here, so we didn't get a chance to talk. But the vast majority of people spoke against them, saying these rules make it harder to be trans. William Manhart is a father of two trans kids. His 11-year-old came out early in life. We thought, as any parent would, that this is just a phase. She'll grow out of it. We're going to support him in whatever uh, he wants to do throughout life. He says he's afraid these regulations will make it much harder to get his child the care he needs. In total, 77 people testified today, and the DHHS will review all of that testimony before making the regulations final. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvold, 1011 News.